Welcome back to the Companion Talk Extravaganza. Varric, how do you do? So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and Maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. Hmm. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner, the better. If it can be sealed, you might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. Where? I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. I am the miracle you need. I'm the hero, not the one you asked for, but the one that you deserve. Need something? The red lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered red lyrium during an expedition in the deep roads. We located an ancient tig, so old it barely looked What's wrong with you, Beric? There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. <laughs> I can't concentrate on this. <laughs> so what is it? Just another kind of lyrium? The red stuff is lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then it does creepy shit. Makes things float, brings statues to life. It also turned Kirkwall's night commander to lyrium. Everyone's been kept at least a hundred paces from it since. It's very true. How did the Red Lyrium get in the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I don't know. So as far as I knew, the only piece to make it to the surface was destroyed. And the location of the Taig it came from is a secret. Did someone find more of it in the Deep Roads? That's not a cheery thought. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Need something? Hmm. I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Uh, Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars, so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's brother Carver is still in the free marches, helping the Kirkwall guard keep order. Aveline is still guard captain. 
I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Uh, Aveline, Aveline, Aveline. Need something? She was a good one. No, don't. Keep your foot above ground. Keep your damn foot above Can ground. I ask you something, Beric? <laughs> you want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that, and I had answers. Mm. I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravain somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. You're an author? What kind of books have you written? I've tried my hands at a few genres. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown, guards breaking the rules to get things done. Hoarding in Hightown. The Champion yeah. is the most famous thing I've written, or infamous, maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. If you've run a spy network, why is Liliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. Aww. We're in better hands with her. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I won her from Paragon Smith Bronca in a game of Wicked Grace. She was such a sore loser. Ran off to the deep roads in a huff and that was the last anyone saw of her. Who is she named for? I can't tell you. And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Ah. You from Ferelden? Or Lay? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. I don't know if that is... Like, Dragon Age is not that bad, despite what people... Dragon Age 2 is not that bad, despite what people say. It... you know. Thanks, Varric. No problem. I can't say. It might be. Maybe I'm just taking it wrong. Need something? Mm hmm. I've read your tale of the ch That's a pretty common reaction. I think there were some questions we missed. Yeah. What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while. But he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. In the book you say that First Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses? How? Why? Why'd you disapprove? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. I was just interested, you know? Why are you hating? There is no way Hawk really could have killed the Ereshock. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Ereshock didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, 
we will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Carry on. Well, I mean, they don't speak the common language that well. Uh, Blackwall has a quest, apparently. Okay, sure. I guess we'll go speak to Blackwall. He's all the way over there anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Make her look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. It's right there. We could take a trip, if you're that curious. I'm gonna have to decline. At least until I learn more about it. I have to admit, I thought you'd be... Human. Yes. At least he's honest, yeah. Being up front is better than Oxman. It was a foolish thought. Should have known better than to say anything. It's what you do and how you do it that's important. Just one question then. How do you think you fit in with all this? Hmm. It's been a whirlwind. It's hard to say where I fit. I guess we'll have to figure that out. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I have to say, I, I kind of like the gist of Blackwall. His character is... Seems very nice. I can get along with that. He's direct. He knows what he wants. He's experienced. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look. See if there's anything we can salvage. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. The Blight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There is still Darkspawn. Just because we kill so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. Where were you during the Blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn, too. <laughs> Did you know? You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. So, you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? Do you find that odd? The Blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> for the last thousand years or so, it's been just... Find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. I wonder what his thoughts on the, the, this at the hero time. of Ferelden is. I'll be here if you need me. At your service. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men, better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men, soldiers. Brute force is not always the answer. There are plenty of other paths to victory. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Thank Build you. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. Those were my exact thought, Blackwall. My exact thoughts. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. 
I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. Technically, isn't isn't Anders a Grey Warden? I forgot. I forget if he was made a Grey Warden in uh, Awakening. I don't really recall. Hmm. I wonder what his thoughts on Anders is. Hmm. What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. You have no thoughts on Cullen? <laughs> you must have some feelings about our friends. I fear for Cassandra sometimes, the way she throws herself into battle. I've never known a warrior like her. Okay. You must have... Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? His descriptions of me are colorful, to say the least. Yeah, you are pretty gray. You must have some feelings about our friends. Talked with Solus the other day. That man knows all there is to know about everything. <laughs> you must have some That's feelings. That's kind of annoying, this. Last time we dined, Sarah put away 12 potatoes, an entire roast duck, and four different tarts. I'm not sure where any of it goes. You must have some feelings. Last time we died, I'm not sure where any of it goes. What do you think? Cullen, he's, he's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles. Still, I trust him to watch my back. We should return. As you wish. Um. Yes. Yeah, let's talk about you. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Your name Blackwall doesn't sound or lesion. Marcher then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. Hmm. <laughs> we can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Indeed. All right, next time I imagine we will get done. I will make sure we are done. We will talk to Colin, we will talk to Cassandra, and we will talk to Iron Bull. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and tune in to the next.